Okay, so here I am on uh, May uh, 16th or 17th, and the Suzuki 25 uh, horse ATL that I just got, a brand new motor, manufactured November 2015. When I first uh, hooked it up yesterday on that transom, that adjustable mount from Garleek there, and had this thing rigged, I had a smaller tub of water, and uh, just making this video to let others know that uh, it was a shallower tub. In other words, I was only filling water up to the uh, cavitation plate, the anti-cavitation plate, which is about, a, oh, almost a foot lower than where I have it now with this bigger tub. And anyway, when I got it and I started it yesterday, it wasn't spitting water at all, even though the, uh, what I thought the water intake was fully submerged, which it was, but it turns out that uh, we need to have uh, much more water up on the shaft, you know, to fill. There's a hole kind of in the back, back there. You can't really see it because it is underwater right now. Um, but anyway, in doing that, uh, uh, the motor's clearly spitting and doing okay and alleviating some of my concerns. So I just thought I'd make this video to, uh, to document that and for anybody else who's testing out their motor. You know, go ahead and, if you can, put it in water, but if you can't, make sure that you've got a deep enough barrel to submerge at least half of the shaft. This is a long shaft motor, 20 inch. So, anyway, that's it for now. We're getting closer to getting this uh, cataract completely deployed and ready for uh, data collection on the Rio Grande, which is the ultimate goal. So, more later.